four, bro. <laughs> Let's get it today. Man, we got Hamilton Elementary School. You know, a lot of times people ask me, how do these school find you? How do these school find you? This person, Nick, one of the teachers, so shout out to my guy, Nick. He found me uh, from another school that I had posted about, right? And uh, we just got connected. Then I was able to get connected with Sarah, the principal. This school, they're dealing with a lot of attendance problems, valuing education issues, a um, little bit of behavior stuff going on, but really just helping them find the value and importance of being in this building and being in good soil, right? You gotta be in good soil in order to grow. And that's what you can find being at school here at Hamilton Elementary. So we're in beautiful Phoenix. I'm so excited, drop a word, let's go. Good morning, how are you guys doing? You good? Awesome. Hello. Hello. The wise man said, how long did it take? Ranger said, well, when I first planted the seeds, I saw no growth at all. I was disappointed I didn't understand what was taking so long. Then I decided to come here every day and water them. And eventually after weeks of hard work, I finally saw growth. I want you guys to form a line and we're gonna sign this poster board that we are committing to being strong that we are committing to growing and that you are committing to being here at Hamilton Elementary. Are you guys with me? Yeah! Are you committing to growth and being here every day? Are you committing to being here every day? All right, write your name real small. Being here every day and growing? All right, go put your name up. Are you committing to being here every day and growing? All right. You committed to growing and being here? All right, give me a hug, see you buddy. Hey, see you guys, take care, all right? See you, bud, take care. See you guys, you got big plans, you got big plans, okay? Don't give up on your dreams. Just got done, session one, K through four. Was reading Ranger Plants a Seed with them, talking about the three things that Ranger had to overcome. Now we're gonna get the fifth and eighth grade kids coming in here, a little bit more intense, a little bit um, deeper message, but I'm pumped up. Let's go. You have the power and you have the control to speak whatever you want to speak in here. And you have the power and control to do things that you want. But so often in life, because of the programming, because of the performance mindset that I have to be this way in order to get love, I have to be this way in order to feel worth and value, we get locked up in that mindset and it keeps us from everything we're supposed to be. Are y'all with me? Yeah. You're 15? 14. You're 14. Yeah, it's not gonna happen today. Right, you don't get drafted until you're 21. So also giving yourself grace, remembering that I got time, but while I'm here today, am I doing everything that I can today to get to where I wanna be later? But then also, it's not gonna happen today, but it will in the future if I do the right things. Feel me? We want to make you an honorary husky here at Hampton and the Come on. <laughs> For, his love. For the love of the huskies. Oh, are you serious? I'm a husky for life. Let's go. Yeah, let's get a picture. Uh, Nick Hodge, fifth grade teacher at Hamilton Elementary School in Phoenix. These are a group of kids that need that self-confidence. They need, um, they need to know that where they are today is not where they are tomorrow. Um, better how to make better decisions not that they are choosing to make the bad decisions but the tools to make better choices mm. and i think that message helps them and i think having somebody that has success um will see that hey that could be me one day mm. i can be that baseball player i could be that football player they all can do that and they can all have these dreams what i appreciate about your message is that it is applicable to every single student regardless of their background or their age or any of the demographic yeah. information that we always look for on people. Um, you were able to communicate with every single student. So we just got done with the K through four message. I read Ranger Plants Seed, kind of showed them the three problems Ranger encounters in the book. 
Then we did the five through eight message, a little bit more intense. Uh, but one thing I like to do when I'm visiting school districts, I'm visiting schools is I don't just want to give the one message. Like I want to make as much of an impact as I can. Um, so I just met one-on-one -on -one with about three or four different students just to kind of get in on the ground and get in on doing the root work with those kids, helping them come up with a plan to make better decisions in their life. So one thing I love to do is also get with the staff. If we miss the staff, you know, they're the ones that are pouring in constantly, right? But are they pouring from an empty cup? And that's why I love to pour into them and give them a little bit different perspective um, from the things that I've been through and just encourage them that they need to be taking care of themselves. They need to do some self-care routines so they can be their best selves every single day, not just for the students, but my goodness, for their own family, for their spouse, right? So that's why I love to encourage the staff. So whole day here, we had two student messages. I met with students one-on-one -on -one and we're doing the staff now to wrap up the day. Let's go. So for you guys, stress can be, stress can be high. Right? You're asked to do a lot here. You're asked to grade. You're asked to plan. You're asked to learn new initiatives that the district wants you to learn. You're taking in, 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 in cultures and different refugees and people who are just starting to, to learn English. You're, you're dealing with all these things. You're trying to learn how to teach them. Right? So you have a lot on your plate. You have a lot that you're being asked to do. But how do you show up when you get home? And how do you show up when you get to school? Adam Sharp, uh, Director of School Improvement, Murphy School District. The message that you uh, hit on with our teachers is really what our year one new academic team has really been focusing on this year, which is not academics. And so that's weird for the academic at school improvement person to say, but what it's on is mindset. And so you have to be in the right, as you said, you have to be in the right mind before you take an action. You have to drive to work with the radio off and, and collect your thoughts before you do the action of work. Let's be in the right mindset for these kids. What do we value? What do we just, what do they deserve? What's our mission? What's our vision? What are we trying to do? And be okay that change is inevitable and that we have to change. If we stay complacent, we're gonna get the same results, right? And we always wanna get better, or, or at least we should, right? Because we are a people of growth mindset. Um, and so I really believe that you hit those topics really hard uh, and I appreciate it. All right, day one in the books, we came, we saw, we conquered two student messages, one-on-one -on -one student meetings with the kids to mentor them and then hitting the staff in the end to pour into them. So we're excited, I'm locked in, pumped up. Day one in the books, we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Okay, y'all, we're back. Day two, man, we're at Arizona College Prep High School. So yesterday, quite literally, I, the principal told me that we were in the projects, right? And there is some poverty going on in that area. So we are there to inspire. We are there to motivate and really get them to believe. But just because we're at a different school today, Arizona College Prep, the average demographic in this area, the average income in this area is well over six figures, well over 100K. But just because somebody's wealthy on the outside doesn't mean they're rich on the inside. So that's what we're going to do today is help them become rich within so that they can go out and be a blessing to others. Let's get it. So today we're in the Chandler district, um, working with all leaders from six different middle schools today. So these kids are hand selected by their principals that they are leaders academically, athletically, and we're gonna talk to them all just about building positive culture. But what I know, and I have the secret, is culture in the school starts with culture within. So one thing I like to do, I've been thinking a lot about this. Why was I so much more in tune at practice than I was at school? And I started to think some of the deepest revelations that I get are when I'm walking or when I'm running or when I'm working out. So today, if the school can handle it, if the kids have the right behavior, which they do here, these are the leaders of all six different schools, we can try to get them more active and get them more involved to get their mind going a little bit so that they can pay attention a little better. So watch to see what we do today. One thing I 
always do before I go out is I always pray. I know that power and transformation does not come from me, but it comes from the one above. Santan, don't get it. Woo! Yeah, who won over here? All right, now, you two go. Woo! Cut him up! Cut him up! All right, do we got winners over here? Okay, you're not... All right, now you... Did you lose or win that? Okay, all right, cool, cool. Yep, now you go. Boom. All right, Anderson's out. These two are in the finals. All right, everybody, come on up. Castillo versus Santan. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Uh, hype it up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Big time, big time, big time. Ooh, Castillo. 1-0. Ooh, where? There it is. Give, hey, shake this man's hand. There you man hand. All right, everybody, find a place in the room to do push-ups, okay? What? Oh, we said we were going to get active. Come on, find a place to do push-ups. Oh, two. Oh, three. Oh, four. Oh, Anderson. Five. Oh, six. Oh, seven. Oh, eight. Oh, nine. Oh, 24. Oh, 25. You still there? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give y'all a round of applause. Give you a round of applause. We come into this world and the world tries to label us. Your parents are rich, your parents are poor. Your, um, you look like this, you don't look like that. Your body shape is this, your body shape is that. Your hair color is this, your hair color is that. And we start to label ourselves. But what I wanna tell you today is labels create limits. Say that with me, labels create Labels create, labels create, labels create, labels create limits. The only limit you have in your life, my friends, is you. Nobody is gonna stop you like you do. Nobody. You have to change the way that you think. You have to change who you are inside. And you gotta believe that the gene and the genetic sequence running through your veins is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And you're, you were born exactly the way that you're supposed to be born. And don't you let anybody tell you different. Grant, you're supposed to be who you are. And you're supposed to look who you're supposed to look like. Hi, my name is Fred Dupree. I'm the athletic director at ACP Middle School. Uh, Lance's message was high energy, really engaged the kids, and uh, gave them a lot of food for thought. Each one of the kids was able to identify something that they were going to be able to bring back immediately to their team to help improve teamwork and uh, overall performance. Uh, Brett Epstein, assistant principal and athletic director at Willis Junior High. Uh, message was very well received by my student athletes. I was talking with them a short time ago. Um, really things that they could take immediately right now. As soon as we even get on the bus, get back to campus, it's not just till their next season starts and they're on teams on the athletic field. Uh, having someone like Lance is tremendous. Just, you know, former professional athlete, got drafted. Holds a little more weight than just a teacher, coach. I mean, kids look up to people like Lance and his energy, his enthusiasm. You could tell he's passionate about what he was talking about and that really helped deliver his message. So when you think next time, that you're above or below somebody else, you're not. People make choices and habit decisions that change their circumstances. Y'all with me on that? Day two, wrapping up at Arizona College Prep, we had six middle school leaders coming in today just talking about building positive culture. Man, we engaged them. We had a rock, paper, scissors challenge. We had a push-up challenge going on. I believe when you change your state physically, it can change how well you focus mentally. So we did that today, we got them locked in, and then they left with actionable steps, things that they can do to improve their lives with some group work. So day two in the books, we'll see you on day three up on the reservation.